Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Raul Garcia FIFA 23 player review. Um, squad Builder Challenge he has just come out. Um, very easy one, 83 rated team with a team of the week in there. Six foot tall, high and medium work rates, right footed, uh, four star skill moves, three star weak foot's pretty good. Um, 87 rated striker from Spain and uh, La Liga. So pretty good looking card. Let's get into the actual in-game stats and then we'll get into some gameplay with him and then I'll give my final verdict. So we've got 85 pace with 92 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Not bad, I like uh, having a high acceleration. 87 shooting, really good with 89 attack positioning, 90 shot power. 80 some passing which is incredible for a striker not something that you'd normally have um, I would you can't play him as a cam which is so annoying because he looks like he should be a cam with 86 dribbling as well which is fantastic 99 heading accuracy um, for the defending there 97 jumping on the physical with 92 strength looks like a really fun card so uh, let's get in some gameplay with him now Alright, so we've got him playing as striker. He play a striker or centre forward. Um, as I said, I think that his stats actually suit more of a cam, um, to be honest. But he at centre forward as well. I don't really see any teams ever use a centre forward. I've never used a centre forward. It's not something that I would really want to. So playing him as a striker, got him up top. Hopefully he can do some damage. This guy's got a pretty good team. Um, so it's going to be difficult, I think, to break him down and score some goals. He has only got two playing in midfield, though. So hopefully that will uh, mean that we can get the ball to Garcia quite regularly. Um, good acceleration on Garcia um, means that he will be able to burst away. There he is. Um, but he will be able to burst away. Always oh, made a good run there. Oh, unlucky there. I would have expected maybe a little bit of a better finish there. I actually thought that maybe he would have scored from there, to be honest. That was a one-on-one, -on -one, really. Um, but it sort of blasted it straight at the keeper in the end. I couldn't even see where the ball just went there. Um, but yeah, blasted it straight at the keeper, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, What's going on here? Oh, I think there's a bit of a delay to be honest. I'm sort of, yeah, I don't know. I was doing a standing tackle and it just blasted the ball straight out. I um, don't know what's going on there. Hopefully, and again, hopefully this won't continue. Um, <laughs> be a bit uh, awkward if it does. I'll have to shoot uh, about five minutes before I actually want to shoot. But yeah, this is uh, a good looking card. I'm, the strength on this, like, he's like Giroud, but with a bit of pace and can dribble and, and pass, it's, weird. it's really weird, only only the defending is low on this card, so it's crazy, um, so hopefully it will be good, I will play some more games with him, I always say it, but uh, in case you're new here, I will play some more games with him as well, just before giving my final verdict, he's made a very good run there, and he's got to put that in the back of the net, and he does, 1-0, um, and it is Raul Garcia on his debut, 13 minutes in, very good start, what more can you want there, 13 minutes into your first game, getting a goal, um, as well, but I was just saying, I will play some more games with him before giving the final verdict, so I'm not just going to go based off this one game what is he doing having a long shot from there with Limburg that is never going to end up in a in a position that's even close to going in uh, here we go Garcia again let's test out his dribbling a little bit mm, not great there didn't manage to get him get past the uh, the opponent I guess that was a bit of a difficult one he was getting surrounded a little bit Koulibaly steps in this guy's got Koulibaly's World Cup card so it is quite a difficult um, defender to, to go against he's straight offside there I wanted that pass to get through to him I just want to test out his one-on-one -on -one ability because the goal that he did score was a, uh, a very easy open goal he made a very good run to get it um, but the one chance he's had with the keeper he kind of fluffed his lines a little bit so I want to see if he can get uh, get past that one I mean, his original goal card's got like 30 pace or something ridiculous. I, I was looking just before uh, before playing this game and I couldn't believe it when I saw it's only 30 pace. I mean, I can't actually believe that anyone would have ever have used that card um, unless they were absolutely desperate in their first team and he, he was their only gold player or something. Even then, I think I'd use a bronze um, because 30 pace is, it makes him one of the most unusable strikers in, in the well, in the game, that's a fantastic pass from him, though. Great through ball, puts it through to Morientes, and that is 2-0. Um, yeah, really good. His passing was absolutely on display there. I thought he had good passing because of the card says that he does. I've completely ruined myself there. He's got to score that. He's got to score that. Um, but, yeah, I thought he was going to have good passing because, it. well, the card says that he should. That was a fantastic through ball. I'm very happy that he's got a goal and an assist on his debut which is a fantastic start. That's another good pass from him there. Um, and he's making a good run into the middle. Oh, if only we could have played that one more ball and then he would have been uh, eight, uh, open for another through ball in. Nicely headed back there, Kudabale. 
All right, let's see what, what can we do. Oh, Shaw's been taken out there a little bit. That wasn't even a foul. Uh-oh, we could be in trouble here. Nicely done. All right, Potosi. I'm going to get it up to Raul Garcia. He has been the one. He's been the difference. He scored a goal and got an assist. And without him, oh, I should have put that through to Moriontes. But oh, he's away. He's straight offside there. That is annoying because oh, if I was just one pass quicker, um, he would have been away there for another through ball to see if we could get a, could have got a one-on-one -on -one with him. But we won the ball back nicely through Moriontes. Best. Oh, he's been pushed off the ball again. I, I mean, Koulibaly, that Koulibaly card may be the best non-icon or hero defender in the game. Um, he's up there. Oh, another great pass. That's two assists and a goal there for Raul Garcia. Um, and that puts us 3-1 up. Um, but yeah, it's quite a hard one for him to sort of have his debut. I, I want to maybe, I don't know, I, of course I'm going to play some more games to see because this is not the uh, the best of opponents to go up against to really test out and get the best out of Raul Garcia. Because, um, I mean, he it is only an 83 rated squad that you're swapping for him. So it's not like it is a, a top, top team that you're going to need to be um, swapping. It's quite a cheap one, to be honest. And you can probably do it for like 20k coins. So, yeah, let's have one more shot. Ah, I'm going to leave it there, play some more games and give my final vote. Alright, so I played a few more games with Raul Garcia and I'm going to give my final uh, verdict on him there. So let's go through it stat by stat and I'll let you know how they how the, each stat felt. So 85 on the uh, the pace. You know, I'm going to leave it at an 85. Um, I just, it was kind of how the card suggested. His acceleration was really good. He burst away, but he just didn't have the sprint speed to keep it going. And his, to be fair, his like, actual acceleration wasn't rapid because his, his sprint speed is only 80. So that's the highest that he could get to. So not the best there. 87 shooting. Uh, I think as well, well, we'll bring that down slightly because um, there was chances that he had. And I think the weak foot was what I felt let him down a little bit. We're going to bring it down to an 85, which isn't bad. Um, 85 shooting, 85 pace on the card. Not bad. Um, the passing, that's the highlight for me. And that's why it's so annoying that this card can't be used as a cam because his passing was fantastic. It was as good as some a lot of cams I've used and better than most. Um, I'm going to bring his passing up to an 89. His true ball was delicious. He was able to just make passes all over the place and, and his turning and stuff like that into a pass, absolutely fantastic. Bringing the passing up to an 89. Then the dribbling at 86. Ah, it's another one I think that probably needs to go down a little bit, um, unfortunately. Um, I'll, bring, I'll take it down to an 85 as well. Um, I, don't, I just don't, I, I don't know, it's only one notch, but I just think 86 is just a little bit better, isn't it? So I think we'll bring the dribbling down to an 85. Defending 66, his head, and I did actually notice it, um, especially for like the long goal kicks, he won every header, he knocked it down. We'll leave the actual defending at 66, but the head and accuracy at 99, I can see why it is. And same with jumping at 97, and the physical at 89. Really, really solid strength. We're going to leave that as 89. So fantastic, fantastic physical attribute there. Um, so yeah, we can, we can, we're not going to decrease that, but we can't increase it either because 89 is already very high and uh, I don't think that it warranted a 90 plus. But we've kept the pace at 85, we've lowered the shooting to 85, increased the pass into 89, uh, dribbling 85, 66 defending and 89 physical. Is he worth doing? I actually think, even though I've decreased some stats there, I actually think he is worth doing. Um, I would probably bring him on as a sub in the camp um, or even central midfielder because his passing was by far his best attribute. He's not got the pace for a striker and his shooting just wasn't up to scratch for me for a striker at this point in the game. So hopefully this video has helped. If it has, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always guys, thank you for watching.